Hey folks, Jay Shagzilla here, giving you a Minion Masters quick update from the Minion Masters themselves, Betadorf. It says, regarding the Outlanders, we need to talk. Doesn't sound very good. Uh, what they're basically saying here is on February 10th, they had a tweet go out saying if we have 75 retweets, they're going to sneak an Outlander card in the next expansion. They are just admitting now that they must merely sharpen the sword that they're now falling upon. So unfortunately, they're not going to be giving us an Outlander card in the next expansion. What they're going to do instead is give us an entire expansion devoted exactly to Outlanders, which is more incredible, more amazing. They really undersold it, in my opinion. I think it's great. But you might be thinking to yourself, wait a minute. Didn't I see a tweet or a post dating something along the lines of, like, this is a dead faction. We're not going to be adding to it. You are not wrong. You are not crazy. This is exactly what they say. They did have this. It does not fit their vision. They're not planning on implementing anything in the future. So that's they are sticking true to that. They are saying that it does not fit their vision still. However... They are giving it to peer pressure, or at least fan demand. So thanks to you, we are getting an Outlander expansion, which is amazing. It seems to be the most common thing they're getting, as they say in their post here. So really cool, really quick snippets from what's happening here. Um, it seems like this is going to be re this pass is going to be relying heavily upon pre-existing assets, which means some old favorites may be returning to the game. I don't know what those are. If you do, let me know in the comments below, and then I can check into them. And also, there's a long-awaited arrival coming to the Minion Masters Tower. So I'm not sure what the long-awaited arrival was for many of you. I'm sure many of you have been speaking out to them as well to let them know what it is i am very excited to see what it is to me it means a new hero and i'm hoping to see it's something cool and i'm sure it will be as they do not disappoint with their expansions here um so they do say that they're with this expansion they're not only looking to increase the amount of outlander cards but they're also looking to give them a purpose so many people have noted as it says it's the only faction with no special mechanics so they're adding an outlander tech mechanic with this we'll also bring reworks to certain old cards in order to strengthen and solidify the faction further so that means to me that there's going to be some kind of synergy. So whether it's um, something along with range maybe happening with a few units on the field, maybe mana-based, um, maybe amount of minions, maybe if a certain play order you have to put them in, et cetera, et cetera. But I'm guessing it's going to be either stun, marksmanship, shield. It could be dropping the units into a certain place. Um, I mean, it could be literally anything. You let me know in the comments below again what you think it's going to be right down here, and we can kind of discuss it as it comes. And here's the best news of all. I mean, it's not too exciting about the expansion, but here's the thing. Bitadorf keeps the keeps it coming. They keep it coming really quickly. They keep us up to date what's going on. But there's a few spoilers over this next week right away. And if you want to see everything that will be added in the first season pass, you check out the updated site on the 26th, which is only a few days from now, probably coming soon. So keep up to date. Let me know what you think about this. And again, the comments below. And if you haven't done so already, please subscribe to the channel so I can keep these comments coming towards you. And if you hit the bell icon, you can be kept up to date as to when the next video is out. So thank you very much again for watching, and as always, I'll see you all next time.